A, a simple a server that is exposing a simple RESTful API where we, uh, we can receive the, uh, uh, an entire array of, uh, of objects. But what about if I want to perhaps uh, retrieve a, a single individual quiz? Right? For instance, I'd like to maybe uh, provide the ID of a quiz, right? maybe one, two, three, and, and that, that retrieves that one single quiz. Right? right now, there's nothing mapped to that. So let's implement that. Let's go back to our code. Right, and, and let's uh, generate another uh, uh, endpoint here, uh, which is going to be maybe get and map it to a, a more interesting uh, API. This might be slash API slash quizzes. Right, again, following the RESTful API convention, uh, we're going to put the un unique identifier at the end of the URL to specify the primary key. So this might be a quiz ID, you know, something like this, QID. Uh, and here we can again have a a, um, a listener for that incoming request. And what we might want to send back is uh, let's see um, uh, response that send. Uh, we're going to take the quizzes, right? And we're going to find that the quiz, right? The uh, from quizzes. So here's the quiz. We're going to only retrieve the quiz whose ID right, matches what is equal to this QID that is coming from the URL. So we need to parse out that, uh, that information from the, from the path. Uh, now, as I mentioned earlier, right, the, uh, all the information that comes from the, from the client, right, including path information, the URL itself, any portion of, the, of that URL, any cookies, any headers, uh, any any JSON objects coming from from the um, uh, from from the client, everything is accessible through the request object. We haven't used the request object just yet. This is our first uh, uh, case that we're going to be using it. So I'll, so the request object is going to be able to, for instance, get a hold of any path variables. Uh, so we're going to be able to say here request. Uh, so what the request does is that uh, any any path variables that are in the um, in the path right uh, is going to be parsed. And it's going to be made available to us in a in a map, right? That map is called params, right? That is part of the request. And then here uh, we can access uh, using the key uh, the names of the path that we declared here in as part of the URL pattern. So here we can say the uh, QID there, right? And that's what we're going to send back send back as quizzes. Now, now notice that um, all all our responses here, these two, right? Um, are responding uh, JSON, right? And so certainly send works, that's fine. Uh, but uh, if we know that the, the data is going to be formatted in, in, as JSON objects, then uh, a better use, a better uh, way of doing that is to instead use JSON here, the JSON function, right? Which makes sure that you know, it validates that it's, it's a correct JSON, um, you know, make sure that the uh, the content type is is application JSON and whatnot, right? And it does some validation for us, right? So let's let's do that instead. Uh, all right, so let's restart our server. Start our server, and let's uh, refresh this. Notice that indeed now it works, right? It fetched that quiz for one, two, three. If we go back, right, and we ask for quiz three, four, five, right? Notice that indeed it returns quiz number three. So it works very well.